In this video, we show how to use FaWave to graph uh, a power spectrum of a function of two variables. Um, here's a graph we plotted in a previous video. Uh, now we'll uh, compute a uh, Fourier transform. Uh, it's uh, one function, a real valued function, uh, and uh, it's graph number one. This is here, graph one, also here, graph one. Um, now, if you use this option, it'll uh, compute the FFT, which will have two graphs, a real graph and an imaginary graph. And we, those are somewhat difficult to interpret. Uh, the power spectrum just provides this one graph with uh, positive values that uh, show the energy uh, uh, in various frequencies in the data. So we'll choose power spectrum here and uh, click plot. Now you notice we don't see much. Uh, we have to adjust the uh, style of graphing here. Uh, right click, graph style, and log for the intensity. Intensity on a logarithmic scale is best for uh, FFTs and power spectrum. Um, now if we click here, uh, we don't see much there. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, we have to zoom in. All right, so um, zooming unfortunately doesn't work too well in when you have your original graph and your graph here that's a Fourier transform. It's a little bug in file wave. Uh, what you have to do is clip the power spectrum graph here. And uh, let's make sure we have the log view. And now we'll right click, zoom. I'm going to zoom on the very center. This is a 512 by 512 uh, data set here, which we uh, saw in the original video where we graphed the uh, the uh, function. Now we'll zoom there. Now we see something. Let's zoom again. Uh, this is fairly good for uh, power spectrum. Uh, in the uh, course I uh, changed the view style uh, so that uh, the printout was not so uh, much black in the uh, background here. Uh, if we use trace uh, um, we can see the black region here is, uh, has zero values. We get close to the white pixel there. Ah, hit it exactly. 10, 5. And that corresponds to the 10, 5 in the uh, uh, original formula there. Um, in two dimensions, there's not single frequencies, there's double frequencies. There's a horizontal type frequency of 10 and a vertical type frequency of 5. Uh, this point down here is, uh, I didn't quite hit it, minus 10, minus 5. We also have uh, uh, non-zero information there. Uh, uh, notice the amplitudes there are 400. Uh, that is the square of half the amplitude of the real data. Remember the FFT because it uses complex exponentials. Uh, the amplitudes of those exponentials are half what we see here in the real cosine value. So that's 20. Power spectrum squares those values. Square of 20 is 400. So we are getting the uh, information there. Uh, the squaring is needed because of uh, energy uh, consideration, Parseval's equality, and so forth that are discussed in the class. So there we've shown how to uh, graph a uh, uh, power spectrum. Uh, just uh, quickly, uh, sometimes uh, I choose gray plus or minus, and then we see a graph like that. The dull gray background are zero values, and the white pixels here we have positive values. So there's a uh, graphing of power spectrum uh, uh, for two-dimensional uh, functions. Thank you for watching.